Alright guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can catch light on an HDR backplate. For example, what we're seeing here. So this backplate you're seeing here, I got from a website called Pexels. I might put a link in the description for you guys to get the image. But yeah, let's get started. So we have a scene like this. Okay, so I've already set up the scene and everything. I'm, I'm not going to go through doing all that again. So basically, I'm just going to explain to you guys on uh, how to achieve the the light catcher on your HDR so let's get started on this so I'm gonna get out of the camera view now this is what I have so far so I'm gonna press alt and H to bring every other thing else okay so this is the scene that I have basically you can see I'm trying to replicate what I'm seeing in the back plate with this uh, cube over here just cut out in the front here so lights can go through into to shine on the car like that and I also have this plane over here acting as a shadow catcher and I also have this plane underneath acting as the uh, floor, the main floor. I'm going to explain all of them for you guys to understand. So before we begin, I want to show you guys how my scene collections are arranged. So for the first one here, which is collections, it only has the car in it. And for the second one, which is... So the basement that is acting as the, uh, the 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 meshes that form the basement image. So basically, this is the basement floor, and these are the walls. And then the third one is the ground, which contains the shadow catcher you're seeing here. And for the lights, we'll get in that later. All right, so let's get started on this. So I'm gonna go over into the camera view, and as you already know, I've already set up the the HDR for this, so you can see it's set up in here. So basically, all I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to catch light on your on your back plates, not to explain to you how to input an HDR or anything else. So basically, I've already set up everything. So just set up everything to match your scene the way you want it to, and let's get texturing the meshes. So I'm going to go into camera view right now, and I'm going to take this one now. This this uh, mesh you I have over here, I've already subdivided it into many, 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 many. Uh, vertices and uh, that is due to the fact that I'm going to be uh, what do you call it projecting the texture that is the image of the basement onto it so if it's not subdivided the result will not come out good it's why I subdivided it including the one on the ground this floor over here as well is subdivided multiple times as you can see right like that so what I'm going to do now is to go into the camera view and I'm going to hide the shadow catcher. So I'm just going to take that and hide it. And now let's take this plane over here, right? We're going to add in a new material. I want to call this the, uh, I don't know, the room of the parking, uh, the, the, the parking that we have going on. Didn't spell that right. All right. And now I'm going to split the view. And let's go into shader editor. All right. So right here, I'm going to press Control T to add in the image. So of course, in order for Control T to work for you, you need to have Node Wrangler enabled in your add-ons before you can get it to work. All right. So once we have that, we're loading the image that we want to uh, project onto this mesh right here. So I'm going to click on Open, and as you can see, it's right here. So let me just show the whole thing so we can see it. So this is the one I'm using. All right, the one over here. So I'm just going to load that in, and once we've done that, I'm just going to go into Edit Mode here. I'm going to press U. And project from view okay so once we do that if we take a look at it in material preview you can see it's casting the image right on top of it if I move it you can see what I mean let me get out of camera view and you can see what I have going on like that okay so right now you can see the roof is a different shade and the walls are a different shade so basically all that we're going to do is we're going to ignore this principle BSDF I'm going to set this directly into the surface all right just like that, just to give the uh, just to give equal lighting all around the mesh, like that. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing to the plane we have below. So I'm going to go into camera view again, and let's give it the same material, which is I'm not sure. So let's just take the the floor and that mesh. I want to press Ctrl and L, and select materials. So we apply the same material to it. But in this case, we're going to go in here, again, take everything, press U, and project from view so that the uh, the image is showing on it so right now the image was seen in the camera right now being formed by these two planes all right so if i move them you can see what i'm talking about just because we did that all right so basically all i'm going to do next is to set up the shader i mean the uh, shadow catcher and the shadow catcher obviously you guys should know how to do that already if you watched my previous videos is just to add in a uh, a 
this would be as if set to uh, some kind of a black color so it's just so we can catch the 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 shadow much better all right so that's basically all i have and then i set it up i set up the foreground the background in the image so basically let me go through this for you guys to see so the the, the the scenes the view layers that i have the first one is the image the image only has the basement in it okay so the the ones the the, the two meshes that form the basement image just to render out the image that we need okay so that renders out the image for us and then the next view layer is the foreground and that only has the car on it I'm not sure why this is visible, but it's not supposed to be visible. I mean, it can be visible. So it has the, it has the, so basically the image has all other, uh, what do you call it, collections disabled except for the basement. And then the foreground has lights disabled. We're going to go to that very soon. And it has collections set to indirect. So you go to view layer, uh, sorry, not collections. Collection is the main foreground. I mean, basement. Is set to indirect so you can see set indirect right now it says clear indirect because I already set the indirect so you can clear the indirect and then set it again so set indirect only for basement and set indirect only for the ground as well that is for the foreground and I'll move on to the background which is the shadow okay so again we're gonna set this one to indirect right here you can see I've set it already the basement also to indirect set already and this we're just going to leave that like that because that's the one that's going to be catching the shadow all right so those are the three uh what do you call it the three uh, scenes we have i mean view layers we have in this scene and then i went ahead and created another scene so if you click on the scene tab up here you can see i have another scene here which is the light scene okay so this scene is going to be catching the light for us so i've already gone ahead and then set up two spot lamps which should be easy for you to do so i'm not going to go through that so we're going to set up two spot lamps right in front of the so if i bring up the collection right in front of the car like that and then just rotate them scale them up and i mean uh, what do you call it place them the way you want to and then you're good to go so I'm just going to disable that collection again so in this light scene I mean in this light yeah scene we have going on you can see I only have one view layer which is lights everything else is disabled except for this okay so everything else is moved into the lights that is these two lights and then the camera are in here everything else is disabled all right so that is basically it so if i view this for you to see you can see what i have is just a black again we have the floor over here i just duplicated it and brought it here and then i i just put it in here in the new scene so basically i just casted a light on it so you can see it's just black catching the white light we have let me just put off the cone so you can see this much better so just catching the light in front there and now let's go back to the main scene all right so the main scene is going to show us the image first let me just take a look through it it's going to take a while so this is the image for the first view layer for the main scene and this is the foreground good so you can see that's the foreground and finally this is the background nice as you can see that only gives us the shadow so now we're ready to uh, go ahead and render the image so we're going to go over to our render tab here and i want to set this to gpu compute which i've already done and my render is set up to what do you call it it's set up to 300 right here and also I went down to because I was running with a GPU under performance I set the tiles X and Y to 512 and I set the so the threads I, it was on auto detect I just changed it to fix so I only have one thread which renders faster all right so once you have all that set up but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna set this to 50 so it renders out quickly so once you have all that set up what you want to do is go ahead and hit render image first of all we're gonna set it to the main scene I want to go to render and render image before we actually go go on and render the image what I want us to do is over here you can see the resolution is way too high so we want to drop this down since we're creating our own image we're not going to be using the actual backplate image so we can go ahead and drop the size of the resolution here by taking this value and let's divide this by let's divide it by uh, let's say 2 and then let's divide the one below also by 2 and that gives us the value that we need all right so now I want to go ahead and then render the image now all right now the rendering is done but I forgot to tell you guys one thing in case you forgot to turn on your transparency before hitting the render you can find that in here by going down to film under the render tab and then enabling transparent and then transparent glass sorry for not telling you that earlier 
All right, so now that we have all the three layers rendered in the main scene, what we're gonna do is go ahead and select them one by one. So first of all, the image, and we're gonna go over to image and then save that image to wherever we wanna save it. So just save it in here or anywhere you wanna save it, okay? So I'll have the first image saved up here, so I'm not gonna save it again. So once you have it saved, you can click on save as image, rename it and save it as image, and then go on to the foreground, and then you have this, you're going to go to image, save us, and save that image as well. Okay, so rename it and then save it. And finally, go over to the background and then click on image, save us, and save it, whatever you want to save it. So once you have that done, we need one more frame, which is not yet rendered. That is the lights. So we're going to, we're going to press escape to go back to the main scene. And we're going to change this to the lights scene. All right. So now all that we're going to do now is to just render that image as well. Alright, so once you're done this, what you're going to have is just basically a white emission on a black uh, plane. And I set the, I also set the world strength to zero on the main scene. So there's no emission, I mean the color, all the way to black. So there's no emission from the world or anything. Just set it to a pure black and set the plane that is the shadow catcher also to a pure black with the PBR shader. And you're going to get a result like this for your light. So it's basically a white and a black. And all you're going to do is just click on image and then save us and save that image as well so as you can see i have all those four images so once we're done with all that all that we're going to do now is to compose it okay so we're going to go over to compositing i'm going to use notes all right just enable use notes let me drop this down oh no, i didn't mean to split it and i'm going to take this and move it all the way here all right so i'm going to add in a layout reroute in here just so i can add in the viewer node like that all right, so all we're gonna do next is to change this to a an image node. I wanna load in the first image, which is the image, the image uh, layer that we saved, which is this first one right here. So I'm gonna load that in first. And what I'm gonna do next is, let me just move this up. I'm gonna duplicate this down here. I wanna change this to the shadow right here. All right, and now I'm gonna add in an alpha over. So let me just search for it, alpha over. And I'm gonna set this here. I want to set both of them so let me just take this press f twice to set it to the top and the bottom and i'm going to take this alpha over and duplicate it here and i want to take this and then that and press f just so it adds it in like that so you can see we have our shadow if you go on and use only one node like this if you set this in here your shadow is going to be less bright but we want more shadows so that's why i mixed it two times in here with the alpha over before setting it in all right so once we have that, now we're going to add in the light. So what I'm going to do is I want to add in another alpha over. And let me just take this and duplicate it. All right. So I want to load in the lights image, which is this one right here. You should also have yours. So just load that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in, no. All right. We're going to add in a an RGB. All right. So just search for the RGB here. And I want to set it to a pure white. Like that. And I'm going to set this to the top. Like this. And this one to the bottom, like that. And I think the alpha right here, which is also the image, not the alpha. I think we're gonna set that into the factor. And let's duplicate this alpha over again. And then let's set this in here. Okay, I think I found out. So what we wanna do actually is to take this RGB and set it here instead. Okay, we wanna set that in here instead. And let's get rid of this one. Let's bring this here and let's set this one now into the factor over here and that should give us the light right down there as you can see so now the last thing that we're going to add in is the actual vehicle so i'm just going to duplicate this and then let's load in the vehicle which is this the foreground and i'm going to add in a final alpha over and i'm going to take this and set it to the bottom and there we go so you can see it's giving us the lights that we need but it's looking a little not too realistic so what we're going to do is to add in a color balance so let's go on and add in a color balance like this and i want to set this to a bit red just to kind of make things look a bit much better so i want to set this to a red like this and you can see what we have is looking really nice maybe a bit more red yeah so you can just play around basically that's how you catch the shadow just uh creates a black and white version of the image that you need and just set that in there and now you can control the color of the of the lights that you have on the ground with this rgb here so if you want it to be green you can just set it to green like that you can see it's changing the lights to green if you want it to be blue you can set it to blue 
and we'll just change it to blue for you whatever color you want to go with you can change it with that rgb all right so that's basically it that's how you you, you catch a light in your back plate is that it yeah so that's basically how you catch a light in your back plate i'll see you guys in the next video